Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 8th of April. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Kogan, Newcrest, Virtus Health, SD Health and Bard One Life Sciences. So if you have a request, send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the newsletter. Um, our best ideas come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report, so make sure you're getting that. If you do enjoy these videos, however, please share them on social media and even leave us a review on Facebook and Google. Our main business is portfolio management, so if you'd like to have a broking account with me, um, then please give me a call and I can explain how that works. And all advice here is general only. So we've got a daily chart here of Kogan going back one year. Um, clearly, it's now in a downtrend. Um, we've got the higher, sorry, the, the lower highs, the lower lows, um, and any move down is pretty impulsive. So we could see sort of sharp moves down here, tries to rally, sharp move, tries to get going here, another sharp move, and so on. So um, obviously not looking good at the moment. Um, Look, potentially we could be seeing some support come in. You know, if you're looking at sort of prior gaps, potentially it's close to that. Um, also, if we were to get our FIB tool and measure the rally off the low from March last year to the recent peak, you'll see that this gap is also at that 61.8% FIB retracement. So. Look, potentially interesting, but there's no way I'd just be buying here just on the back of um, a fib retracement and a gap. We need to see more evidence. So, you know, I'd like to see it form a bit of a base um, first. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I think it's way too early to be buying in. Okay, this is a daily chart of uh, Newcrest. Um, so we could see that since the July peak, it's obviously come back a long way. Um, Quite a bit of volatility here on the way down. We could see the intraday movements. Um, but over the last few weeks, it has settled down. So volatility has um, died down and it looks like it's making a, a higher high. So I guess early days that this thing um, is potentially turning around here. Um, the other thing I noticed, if we look at, if I go to a chart that has a 50 day moving average on it, this is the exponential moving average. Um, we could see that it was an issue for the stock, so um, it was previously a problem for it, but just recently it's managed to, to get above that. So um, again, potentially we're seeing a break of this, um, this downtrend here. So look, I think it, um, it does look like a, a buy here. You just need to have, um, you know, run your stops pretty close by. I'd be looking at, at this low um, at the widest point and then start to, to trail it up. Um, Virtus Health, um, you know, great looking trend, um, still trending really well. Um, well. If I just zoom in a bit, I mean, most recently, it looked like there was this sort of obvious um, sort of bull flag here, broke that convincingly a few days ago. Um, and now obviously we just need to get past this, um, this February high. Um, which is resistance. So, you know, if it can do that, I think it'll just continue to, to trend higher. So, um, yeah, nothing really wrong with the way it's trading, in my opinion. Um, EHE, SDR. So, what we had was um, a couple of months ago, it looked like there was sort of resistance near just under $2 broke above that, tested it, rallied again. So all of that's good. But then it came back sharply in um, in March. So just almost a little bit too sharply for um, for my liking. It seems to have found support again at that breakout and is headed higher. But we could see that in this case, we've got a sharp move down and a fairly slow uh, move up. So um, I'd just be a bit, bit careful here. I just think that as it as it gets back to this level, there's going to be a bit of selling again. Um, it really needs to, to break through that. So, um, yeah, I'll just be careful with this one at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, and barred one, BD1. So, you know, we had a classic break here out of a base, so big base formation, and then a, did a huge day up on, on massive volume. So that's just sort of a classic break out of the base. Ran for a few days, so that was the easy money there. Um, now it's getting a bit, bit tricky. Um, I suppose there's different ways to approach this. Uh, you know, if you're a bit of a short-term trader, I mean, I'd, you know, the, I think the decrease here in the volatility is good, so it's probably setting itself up for another, another move. I'd just wait for, um, I guess, another big. Hopefully, if we can get another big move up on volume, that would be the, the buy signal. But um, it just becomes a bit tricky. You've got obviously support down here, so if you're looking for stop levels, but that's probably a bit too far away. Um, and even if it was to make a move up here, let's say it, it bursts through $4 on volume, you know, you then got resistance here, you know, overhead supply, you know, even up here. So it does become a harder trade, in, in my opinion, compared to if you're just buying that breakout. Um, so yeah, just be careful about that overhead supply. Okay, well, that's all for this week. Um, if you have a request, send it through. I'll try to look at it next Thursday for you.